Well, I don't know if you can see us, but Ian and I uh, decided to go look at a new spot. And uh, we have hiked our butts off. And, you know, Ian's lifted a lot of rocks. I lifted a couple. And then the only thing we've seen is this little guy who's not even under a rock. In situ. In situ. Nope. Now he's not really in C2 anymore. I don't know how good I'm getting this because I can't really see my camera. Oh, you can Alright, we're going to let him go on his merry way. Bye, little Ruber. That's his boulder, I guess. That will probably be all that we're going to see today because we're running out of daylight. And uh, that was a baby ruber, a crotalus ruber, a red diamond rattlesnake. All right. Well, that might be it for today. Bye-bye. All right. Well, welcome, guys. Hey, guys. We got a bunch of wind, but oh well. Uh, so we just came out to a spot where there's a bunch of boards and junk. We're not actually to the spot yet. We stopped so I could put in four-wheel. And... Um, Ian flipped some small boards, and we already got this really cool Gilbert Skink. Hang on, I'm going to turn this around here. There we go. Not a big grown tail, either. Yeah, this is female. an adult female. They the Females do get a little bit bigger than this. Males get a lot bigger. Um, but you can tell... By the olive color, the no stripes at all, um, that this is definitely a Gilbert's. And they're also our biggest skink that we have around here in Southern California. It's quite a bit bigger than the regular Western Coronado subspecies skinks that we have here in San Diego County. And uh, the babies of these guys have bright pink or bright red tails and black and yellow stripes running down the body. Uh, and then they change completely when they become adults and they get this olive color, no stripes at all. And then the males get broad heads with orange on the head or red on the head. Um, a lot like the broad-headed skinks back in the Midwest. But very cool. All right, we're going to see what else we can find. Hopefully we'll check back in pretty soon. All right, so we're here to the spot. It's kind of windy. Hope the audio is okay. But uh, we're about to start flipping, see what we can find. There's a lot of quartz out here. Okay, let me get over here. Good thing I didn't bring a hook with me. Uh, it looks pretty much eaten away. There might not be any way for anything to be under here, but... Yeah, it. Try it anyway. Do you want to lift it? Can you go from this side? Ready? And wait, that's just plants over there? Yeah. Nothing. Doesn't look bad though. Yeah, it looks pretty good. if you can see me but there's a bunch of boards here around some cactuses and uh, that's a pretty good technique because herpers don't want to flip them and animals don't mess with stuff around cactuses so 
we found at least one Gilbert skink hiding underneath these boards. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Well, this was a fun one. We chased this Gilbert skink from under a board into a cactus, and then we lifted another board, and it had another Gilbert skink, which was much smaller, which I thought was a fence lizard, which ran under the same cactus and then under a board that we'd lifted previously. So that's all confusing. So then we relifted the board that we lifted previously, caught the small Gilbert skink, and, and went, wait a minute, this was not the Gilbert skink that we saw, uh, because the other one was a male and this one was a female. So we kept digging in the cactus and located this, which is a male. It's a, I would call that a sub-adult, maybe a teenager. He doesn't have the super broad head yet. Not a lot of orange on him. Maybe that'll come later in the season, especially as he gets older. They get about twice this big, uh, but uh, still a very cool find. Much bigger than our Coronado Western skinks uh, that we have, and very, very cool. And they're under the boards. So this is the third one that we've caught today and the fourth one that we've seen. So this is the fourth Gilbert skink that we've seen today. Pretty cool. Awesome. Mm, they're considered a pretty good find. You don't see one of these every day. You. You right there. You know who you are. You could have come with us, but you didn't. So that's your fault. I invite you. You don't come. You don't call, you don't write, I'm telling your mother. <laughs> We're right here in a new spot, right next to the border of Mexico, in Southern California, of course, where we live. And we found a spot with some junk. Uh, there's a sign that says no dumping, so that means, hey, people dump there. So you look there, and I found a pile of small little pieces of board and trash, and we have already struck king snake gold for the day. It's the first adult of the year for us. We've caught 10 king snakes this year, and they've 11 now, uh, but all 10 of those previous ones were either babies, juveniles, there was one that was maybe a sub-adult that Ian caught, which is pretty cool. But now, we're on the board with this. Here it is. This is a good-sized California king. Some of you guys know that the California Kings don't get as big as the like Eastern Kings or the Speckled Kings. So this is a good-sized adult for us, and uh, he's not real happy, but he's not not too upset. He's musked a little bit. This is the typical banding coloration, although this is uh, banana yellow, which is pretty cool. Banana yellow and it's getting that kind of chocolate brown, which is typical for the coastal adults. Very cool snake. Very glad to have found this guy. We're gonna keep going if we find anything else. We'll check back later and uh, thank the Lord for every creeping thing, especially California king snakes. Yes. All right, we're out here next to the border. We just got our third snake. Second snake was a baby king. Didn't record the flip, but I'll show you that in a second. And uh, this guy just flipped this. Go ahead. See where it is. Oh, it's moved a little bit. I thought I heard another one. Little Southern Pacific adult. All right, we're gonna we're gonna lay him where he is and keep looking. We'll check back in later. Nothing there. Careful, this could have one inside it because it's uh, folded. Okay, nothing on this side, but there could be something inside it, so be careful. I'm it. Nothing in there. Okay. Hey, nothing. How about, the nope. How about these over here? And those. And these, yeah. Could be stuff under those. Under that. Like it's really covered in rock and stuff. Can you lift it just a little bit? Uh, I 
don't see anything. Well, this is snake number four. Snake number five, if you count a dead, squished Southern Pacific uh, little baby that I think somebody squished when they threw some fencing on top of a board. But this is the probably the fattest Southern Pacific rattlesnake I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I'm, I'm betting she's just, just about to drop a bunch of babies. You know, they can have over a dozen babies. Not, it's not average, but they can have a ton of babies. And I bet she's about to drop a bunch of them. And uh, I lifted this mattress, didn't find anything under it. I put it back and saw her right next to it. She never rattled the whole time. But you gotta check this out. Check this out, Ian. Ian hasn't seen it yet. That has to be... Whoa. Now she's rattling. Oh, she's coming towards us. Back up, back up, back up. Back. Oh, she's going in her mattress. She went inside it. Wow, the size of the head on that snake. It's humongous. I'm going to go around this way. I think she's actually inside it, though. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's in there, Dad. Yeah, she's inside. Maybe I can get her to come out. Woohoo! Look at this giant thing. Look at it compared to my dad. Doesn't look like much, but that's one of the biggest snakes I've ever seen. It is really, really feisty right now. Yeah. Woohoo! I caught that on camera. about as urban as herping gets right here. Yeah, and still There we go. Except for that little piece of grass, that's a really good shot. of cardboard looking stuff here. Don't worry, we'll put it back, folks. Well, I will put uh, as much of the cover back as we can, but it is kind of hard when you're flipping trash. Uh, whoa, don't drop it. Ooh, this, is, this is the third king of the day. Look at that. And the sixth snake, if you count that little dead rattlesnake. And you can still hear behind me we didn't talk about the, the large before. adult Southern Pacific, huge one. We didn't talk about the dead rattlesnake. Yeah, I did just oh. Yeah, there was a dead rattlesnake that got squished. Oh yeah, you were in the truck. But this is a nice looking little bandy. Number three of the day. Ian's on the board. Good job, bro. Thank you. All right, we'll check back in if anything else is out. Got a nice pile here. Ian going for the rock first, because you never know. And we got a board. Nothing on that one. Let's try one of these. Two pieces actually. Nothing under the top one. Nothing under the bottom. Okay. Which way are you going? There you go. Go for it. Doesn't look like it's been there that long or something. Recording. You recording? Yeah, ooh. Two rattlesnakes. Southern Pacific. Two Southern Pacifics. One little one. It has the pattern of a Mojave. Look at its backside. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've seen plenty of Southern Pacific, so it's not gonna take too much time here. Just gonna put these, put this board back down. But that's pretty cool. Double One flip. One second. That's good. Pretty cool. Double flip, Southern Pacific. Go for it. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. King snake number four. Yeah. For the day, let me see that guy. That's the most in one day this year. Wow, yeah, we've got three on how many different days? Uh, four different days. Well, counting today. Yeah. But three on three different days and four up today. Yeah, this is Grandpa's description. Good job, old guy. Old guy's on the board with the king. Hey. <laughs> He's going back there. Yeah. That's a... He's striking me. mad. Could have been anything down there. Yeah, you want to put this up or just gotta flip that one first. It's on top. This is stinging metal, so don't touch it with your hands. Kick it in the corner. Yeah. You want a hook? No. You sure? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, Look. another Southern it's Pacific. Whoa, this is Southern Pacific mania right here. How do you know kings because of all the Southern Pacific? Well, sometimes they share habitat. We're going to have to move this guy so we can lift this board. I'm just going to give him a little shove. Whoa, I don't want to get on that. There you go. Gently coax him off. And then, yeah, can we double hook it maybe? Oh, you're going that way. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing under that, but there was. Oh, and we're standing on a board, too. That one? Yeah, did we get that one? No. Okay, let me. This one's on top of it, so we need to slide it this way. Oh, there might be hole right there. Everybody keep your eye on this guy over here. Um, can you get that, Ian? The nothing. little scrappy pieces had nothing under them. Let's put this back. Bye, right, Southern Pacific. I walked up and I was like, imagine okay. if the Southern Pacific was under there. So then I left it. So did you lift it all the way? No. I, was, okay. I didn't even lift it. All right, so we can see that little tail sticking out there. That's not a very big Southern Pacific, but that's like, I, I have no idea how many Southern Pacifics at this point. Probably like, 67. I would say like eight, probably. Does he have any friends? No friends. We have no friends, but he also has a big meal in him. Oh. Pretty sure. He might be flattening out, but he still looks like he has a meal. Alright, you little Mojave looking guy. Nice. Well, it was a four king snake, eight southern pacific rattlesnake, or maybe nine southern pacific rattlesnake. We'll have to check the photos and video uh, kind of day. And this was the biggest. This is a good sized adult banded California king snake. Really pretty one. Biggest um, we've seen this year. Yeah, biggest one we've seen this year. We've seen 14 king snakes this year, and this is by far the biggest one. We, there's one sub adult, but this is the only true adult we've seen so far this year. Pretty guy. So, it was a good, good time out there next to the border. We found a new spot with a bunch of junk to lift. It was pretty cool. Um, we're definitely going to be heading back to that spot again sometime, but uh, that's it for us today. Uh, thank God for every creeping thing, especially these guys, and uh, we'll check back in soon. Hopefully we hit the road uh, pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.